Hi, my name's Emma Payne. I'm from Birmingham Playcare Network and we also run the Scrap Store. You may have heard from my colleague, Becky Coley, who's been running some play sessions. And we've been using our fantastic craft packs in those play sessions in and around Stockfield Estate. Becky will tell you a bit more about that later. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a catapult which is in your craft pack. So in your craft pack, you will have received a couple of these plastic bags that have all the ingredients that you need to do your crafty makes. And there will be one in there for the catapult game. So I'll just run through the ingredients for you. You'll have a worksheet with all of the instructions really clearly. You'll have five plastic beakers. You'll have up to four um, cardboard sticks. A foam piece, this is really important, so don't lose your foam piece. Some pieces of coloured card and some rubber bands. We need you to provide a bottle top and a scrunched up piece of paper or foil. In your pack, you should also have had some coloured pencils and some felt pens. You will need a pair of scissors. I'd recommend just using children's scissors. These are the only ones I've got to hand, but any scissors will be fine. Okay, so I'm now just going to talk you through the four steps to making your catapult. Okay, so for stage one of your craft, I want you to take one of your plastic cups and you can choose your first piece of card. And all we're going to do, I'm going to start with the star card I'm going to turn it so pattern is down to the table, put my cup on and I just want to draw around the base of that cup. So I'll take one of my coloured pencils, put my hand in to hold the cup nice and firm and then just draw around my cup so that I have a template for the circle which I'm now going to cut out and then place into the bottom of my first cup. I'll repeat that with the different colours for each of my cups. Okay, so I've got my five cups with a small circle in the base of the five different colours. So you've cut out your five circles and they fit into the base of the cup and we're going to get a felt pen or a pencil and we're just going to number the circles one to five. So I'm just going to write my numbers quite clearly. One, two, sorry about the squeaky pen, three, four, When you play the game, these numbers will tell you the score that you're getting. So it's important that you put your numbers on your circle so you'll be able to add up the scores of the game. And we can now put these circles into the bottom of each of the cups. There's number one. I'll do the same with number two. And number three. And number four. 
and number five. So these are the targets that your catapult will be firing into. The next stage, stage two, is going to be using your sticky black foam and your lollipop sticks and some rubber bands. So if you want to get those ready, that's the next bit of our make. Okay, so for the next bit of the make, you need your lollipop sticks, only three. So that's just a spare in case. You need your piece of sticky black foam, your scissors and three rubber bands. So the first thing you're going to do is to take one of your lollipop sticks and we need to cut a thin strip of the black foam that's going to fit in the middle of your lollipop stick like that. So I'm just, I'm not going to measure it with a pencil. I might just score it with my nail actually across. So I've got an idea where to cut. And then I'll just take my scissors and very carefully cut my piece of foam. Ooh. Let's get him back. And then when we take this yellow off, it is very, very sticky. So I won't take it off until I'm 100% sure, but that looks great, just right. That's going to fit on perfectly. So I shall now peel off the yellow paper, the backing, super sticky. And I'm going to put that in the middle, more or less of my first cocktail, uh, lollipop stick. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to take two other sticks and we're going to place the first stick with the foam on horizontally. The other sticks, I'm going to put them vertically like this, okay? And this is what will form the catapult once we've put the rubber bands on. So I can put my first rubber band. Actually, I can take those away. I can put my first rubber band just around the bottom of the two lollipop sticks and I'll wind round and round so it's nice and tight. OK, so fairly far down towards the end, that's nice and tight like that. And then I can open this up, like the mouth of a crocodile, and slide in my piece with the foam quite close to the end. And then I'm gonna get two other rubber bands. I think I'm gonna use the thinner ones. And I'm going to put one going diagonally across that way. Yep, that's great. And then the other one, diagonally the other way. Create a cross there for my catapult, just like that. So you've got your three bands, the one band is at the tip of the two lollipop sticks and the other two bands are crisscrossed in a star shape across the other lollipop stick with the foam on. So that we have created that catapult action when we move to the next stage and we're going to get you to get your bottle top and attach it to the end of the top lollipop stick. Okay, so we've now reached the fourth and final part of the instructions for making your catapult. We need to attach the bottle top to the top lollipop stick. I'm going to use some blue tack, but you could use glue or sellotape, whatever you've got available. 
So take your blue tack, stick it onto the um, underside of your lid, and then we're going to push it onto the top lollipop stick. We need to leave a tiny little space at the top for your finger to go. So you could just measure how much you need and then press down hard on that lid so that it is definitely secured to the top lollipop stick. Put your finger on the bottom one. You can give it a little try to make sure it's not going to fall off. Okay, so you can see that that is all attached on to that top stick. I then need to make my ball, which is going to sit in there and fire into my cups with their coloured bases with the points on. Again, I've just got a piece of paper. You may want to use foil or tissue paper. You could even use a pom-pom, anything you've got that you've made. I think I'm only going to need half of this paper. So I'll just tear that in half, take that one away, and then I'm just going to Crunch it up into a ball, into a ball shape. Check that it fits into my cap and it does perfectly. So my catapult now is ready for firing. I've secured my cap, I've got my rubber bands in place and I've got a good tension ready for firing. So off to play. Okay, so you're now ready to play. I've lined up the plastic cups here and they've got their numbers in for your point scoring if you want to play the point scoring version of the game. And depending on how easy or hard you want to make it, depends on where you put your cups. I've put number one cup closest to the catapult and number five cup furthest away. But if you wanted to make it easier and make it easier for someone to score more points, you can just move your number five cup to the front. OK, you can have them in any position you want. Now to come to the catapult. Your catapult's ready made and has the ball in it. Depending on what material you've made your ball out of will depend on how far it will travel. So if it's made of something heavier such as foil, it will travel much further than if you've made it from tissue paper. If you put your finger at the front of the catapult and hold it really nice and firmly on the table, that will give you a real good distance to your shot. And then all you need to do is press down on the little bit at the back make the top lollipop stick touch the bottom, keeping it all down on the table and then let go. 